Welcome back to the channel guys, thanks for joining. Well, on you spoil, two videos in one week, get in. Funny old day today, I've got a little 14, I'd like to say 14 foot, it's not, it's a 16 foot, we've got a little 16 foot cut down container, basically it would have started life as either a 40 foot or a 20 foot. They just chop the end off it and then weld a big plate as a back door. Not a door, door's open, didn't they? Just as a back, just a, literally a steel plate. I'll show you when we get up to the job anyway. Um, yeah, we're delivering this local. Uh, it's nine, about nine, ten miles from the yard. We're going to drop this one off. And then, depending on how I've cut this, this clip down if you can see behind me if whether you can or whether you can't I'll tell you what's there up on top of my cab we've got a like a recovery light bar flashing beacons and whatever up there the truck was two weeks old and it stopped working completely it's been in twice be checked out what was wrong with it once I was told it's wiring loom, the, the whole head lining's got to be taken out and blah de blah de blah. Second time we was told, no, it's definitely the unit up top, the light bar, with it being LED, uh, yeah, they think it might have got a little bit of water in there somewhere and just fried the whole board. So, I got a new one sitting on the bed behind me, which to be fair, we've had for about three months, four months but today's the day we get it repaired, replaced. Get in. Probably seems minor to a lot of people, but it's only a flashing light wheel. It's not just a flashing light, it goes all the way around the truck. But when it's turned on, it looks good. How often do I use the beacons? For, well, for its actual purpose, not very often. But if I see someone on the road, that I recognise or someone flashes me up or something. It's just another light to flash, isn't it? Who don't like a flashing light? Come on. Anyway, shall we crack on with a day? Let's do that. Here's a useless bit of information for you. My very first ever job interview was on this industrial estate we're just about to go to. I'd literally just left school. I didn't get the job. In all honesty. In my younger days, I was a bit of an idiot. 
I wouldn't have employed me, to be fair. But we all grow up, we all learn from our mistakes. It was a company that, oh, what, you probably know it maybe, I don't know, Ashworth, the company was. They done golfing clothing and, I don't know. I wasn't really that injured. I didn't even really want the job. I was kind of pushed into, can't get a job. Right, I've just remembered, I actually, I've got a note on the paperwork to say give the customer a call an hour before I get there. It's only 15 minutes from the yard, so that was impossible. So I think what we'll do, um, well actually my uncle works down on this estate. So what we could do, is sort that camera out because it keeps bouncing, it's driving me crazy. I think we'll go down, see if he's at work, if he is, get him to stick the kettle on. I give the customer a ring and say I'll be there in an hour. Let's hang it out a bit. Work smarter, not harder. Yeah, because the place I actually want is down there. Right, let's go and have a look. At least we know where it is then. Open court. going to be a tiny little business park. Yeah, it's going to be a tiny, tiny little business park in the middle of all this massive industrial estate. Of course, to let me deliver to a big place, that would just be too easy, wouldn't it? Unit 7. Let's see if we can see Unit 7. There's, there ain't going to be no one here yet. It's far too early. Seven's there. Right then, let's get out of here. So, that job went pretty decent. Carpet falls. Uh, yeah, apart from having to wait around for a bit, basically, I had a note on the 
paperwork to say, give the guy a ring an hour before I arrive. The two issues with that was, I had two phone numbers, one of which was no answer. Yeah, one was no answer, second number was an incorrect number. Not very helpful, is it? Put that aircon on. It's getting warm in here. Now, the guy that worked next door, why is that shaky so much? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, the guy next door, he told me exactly where the box needed to be or roughly where the box needed to be. So I thought, well, I'll get it off, which is, you see, get it off, put it down there, pack away in hope that it's spot on, and just wait for the guy to turn up. Now, when he did turn up, he said, yes, mate, spot on, it's exactly where I wanted it, but can you just move it over six inches? <laughs> really? I don't mind, you know, it's got to go where they want it to go. Um, I probably should have waited for the guy really, but it got it all of the, of course, I had unstrapped it, took the ratchets off, it saved me a bit of time. <laughs> Could have saved me 20 minutes, never mind. Right, so we're now just heading to, where are we going? We're going around here. Oh actually, we could go through Wickford. Should we go for a ride through the town? Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, so we're now going to go and get this light bar fitted. At long last. Oh, waited months. Is this a weight limit? No. <laughs> right, let's go and get this done. I'll come back to... I'll come back to you when we got a working beacon. See you in a bit. We got a working light bar again, yes. Well over excited, but come on. Like I said this morning, who don't like a flashing light? I've got no use for it really today, but I'm gonna flash people constantly. Just, why not? Why wouldn't you? <laughs> the light, I'm not actually a flasher. Right, so we've had some good news whilst we was there as well. Oh, actually, first. <laughs> I pulled up to get that light repaired, fixed, changed, whatever. Turns out it didn't need a new one. All it needed doing was just resetting. We just disconnected it, reconnected it, bang, working. Spot on. That's what you want, isn't it? Also turns out, I've got 19 different flash patterns on it. 19 flash patterns. Who needs 19 patterns? I've only used 16 of them. <laughs> oh dear. I can't decide what one to have, what one to use, so we'll just keep flicking through them every now and again. Just why not? All the headlining, up the back, up top, the whole lot had to come out to get to the, yeah, to the wiring harness bit that we wanted or needed. What a job. We was there a good few hours, good couple of hours, but it's all done anyway. Because it took so long, it meant I had a phone call from my planner. Well, job number two, cancel. Don't worry about it. Get someone else to do it. That's what you want. So, all we've got left is one more job up to Sawbridgeworth, which is, um, well, we say it's Stansted, it's that sort of way, up the M11, uh, kind of between Harlow and Bishop Stalford. 
Is it a 20 foot? And it's a 20 foot, so no ratchet strap in, no nothing. Nice easy one. I was actually on site the other day. I did deliver two boxes in, no I didn't. I delivered one box in there the other day. This one's going to a different location. We'll see how we get on with it. But for now, I'm gonna go and get loaded. So I'll get back to you in a bit. Ah, have I mentioned? My light bar's working. All loaded. We're gonna have a nice slow plot up. I'm not for cutting in it. We'll just have a slow, steady. Let's go! <laughs> now, we are, seriously, we are. We just have a, a slow, steady drive up there. Get this one lifted. We're gonna be there for about, I don't know, 20 to 1. By the time we go and find sight, it's 1 o'clock. Have a little play with the crane. Mess about, see what we can hit, knock over, knock down. There's got to be a building about we can demolish or something. No, on a serious note, we'll, we'll start lifting for about one o'clock. Box will be off for quarter past. It's about an hour. It's quarter past two back. By the time we have a break, it's three o'clock. It's about right. So that's that job done. Hold on, let me move that camera, it's a bit rocky there. Yeah, so that's that job done. I'm only about three quarters of an hour, 50 minutes-ish from the yard. I've already had a phone call, it's 10 to two now, so I'll be back quarter three. Um, yeah, just pop in the first containers, load up for tomorrow. that do me. Don't know what it is I'm doing yet. Haven't got a clue. I'll give him a ring when I get down there. But I'm gonna end the vlog now. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, really appreciate you getting this far through the video. Glad you've enjoyed it, which you obviously have if you got this far. Um, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, or if you didn't like it, thumbs down. If you didn't like it, it's fair enough. Drop it in the bottom in the comments. Let me know what. I can do to improve to make it better uh, yeah for anyone else any questions or anything any shout outs drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it whether I answer it on the comment section or whether I do a separate vlog of yeah questions and answers Q&A's uh, yeah we'll see anyway thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one